So good morning, um, Baroness Campbell. Thank you very much for um, agreeing to be involved in this introduction to the NHS England sponsored um, capacity building program for disabled people's user-led organisations. Uh, it's, it's really great to have your involvement. But before we start, could I just ask you to introduce yourself? Yes, um, I'm Jane Campbell. I'm a cross member of the House of Lords. That means I'm an independent um, member. I've been there seven years. And before that, I was heavily involved um, in both the social care world and the world of disabled people's independent living. And before that, I was a radical activist sitting on the bridge outside Westminster waving a placard. Great. Well, thank you very much. I think we have a photo of one of those protests in, in, in a conference room at ECDP, so thank you for, thank you for that. Um, so I'd like, if I may, to, to move straight into questions that I, th that I think are most relevant to the audience today. Okay. Um, and, and I guess the fundamental one I want to ask is, why do you think disabled people's user-led organisations should be offering services in the health budget space? Okay, well, there are two major reasons. The first reason is that the integration agenda is now the way that we are going to play things. Mm. Um, disabled people have a myriad of both health and social care needs. And if, if these are met appropriately, then they are free to live the lives that everyone else does. So the integration agenda, freeing up disabled people to take control over their lives, and because, well, because that's where the money's going to be. Mm. Yeah, of course, yes. And if you had to choose, um, if there was one thing that you thought um, a disabled user, a disabled people's user-led organisation had over another provider, right. what, what that they should stress in their work with health, what would you say that was? Well, I think we have to look at the successes that um, disabled people own from the past. We were the most successful infrastructure for the implementation of community care direct payments. Yeah. Basically, when disabled people came into that program and started saying, actually, we've got to change this completely, we've got to take the control away from the professionals and put it into the hands of disabled people, so for the first time ever in their history, they could, could, could take control over their day-to-day -day existence. And once we did that, disabled people started to take more responsibility over their lives, and they were liberated to become the person that was hidden down there, deep inside them, yeah. but was never able to get out. Yeah. Yeah, thank you for that. Um, so organisations um, in, in the room today are going to be particularly um, focused on collaborating with health. Um, in terms of working with health, both at a sort of strategic level, but also, you know, perhaps operationally, what would your key um, suggestions be? Okay, well, if I think back to the early days of direct payments and taking control of our social care services, the one thing that we learned was that it was incredibly important to understand the culture of our partner. So I think you've got to understand the culture of health. You've got to respect their professionalism and their skills. And you've got to ask them to do the same with you. We both have amazing skills. They are complementary skills. They are not the same. And I think if we meet each other halfway to build something new and exciting, then that's the recipe for success. Yeah, that makes complete sense. Thank you. And don't forget, we were pretty much against a health model of disability for years. Mm. And so there's some stuff that we need to do mm. to re 
to, to say that we met that challenge. We changed the health model of disability and replaced it with a social model. Mm. We should feel confident that we have done that and that it has been accepted mm. by mm. the professionals. Yeah. They may not like it very much, mm. but on the whole it's been accepted and Bernie finds the social model exciting and liberating. Mm. Mm. So that's what we want our successes have been yeah. and not our fears of what might happen because of the good old days or the bad old days. Yeah, yeah. No, that's absolutely the right sentiment, I'm sure. I guess I mean, it's perhaps an unfair question, but you know, when an individual um, service is trying to negotiate with a clinical commissioning group that does seem to be a bit stuck in an old paradigm, yeah. well, how, what advice would you offer them? I would advise them to recognise where they're coming from, mm. don't fight them, don't get mm. shirty, mm. don't go and get those banners out of the cupboard mm. again. Mm. But say, hey, come and look at what we've achieved. You can be a part of this. Wouldn't you enjoy that? It's progressive, it's modern, and it's about the future. And if you come with us, we'll have a joint success rather than one winner and one loser. And what's more exciting than that? Yeah. Yeah, that's, 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 that's great advice. Um, I'm, I'm kind of... It feels dangerous to ask more more questions beyond the amazing Can you advice. Tell that I'm a politician? Yes, <laughs> amazing advice. Um, perhaps one more. Uh, there may be people in this room today who are undecided still about having a go um, in this space. I, I, I think not, but there may be. Uh, I, I, I'm guessing your clear advice is go for it. But you know, is there anything you'd want to add to that? All I can say is I remember. Oh. 25 years ago, I was terrified mm. Mm. of going to work with social workers. Mm. Um, and I had lots of mixed feelings, I thought. Goodness, this is going to be a huge challenge. Mm. Will it work? Mm. Um, so I accept that it's going to be different. Yeah. It's going to be a bit scary. Mm. You come from a territory where DP, LOs, you know, they're pretty secure on what they're doing now. Mm. So... Mm. I would say, look, go for it. Mm. They will feel exactly the same. Mm. Health, I, health will. Yes, yeah. of course. Yeah. Mm. I mean, health are afraid of giving up power. Yeah. We're afraid sometimes of taking over power and mm. responsibility. Mm. But I think you've got to feel the fear and do it anyway. Mm. And don't forget, we did. Mm. And look at all those people out there now who are happily using direct payments personal budgets, they're going to work, they're going to university, they're having families. Just remember what we achieved and make them feel that they can be a part of this. Because at the end of the day, they want their users of their services to be happy and to be satisfied and not to be in danger. And if you don't work together, then one of those will go. Thank you so much. That that's 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 brilliant advice, Spanish Campbell. Thank you. Well thank you. And enjoy the conference, everyone. I wish I could be there. <laughs>